Hey, hello everyone. I am your favorite food alchemist. Today I'm going to talk to you about some crystals as well as I made a crystal grid um, earlier. So I seen there wasn't much light um, there. So I set my crystal grid actually on a slight uh, selenite. So I have, um, you can use anything from a crystal cord like this, a tumble crystal cord, um, a piece of a gemstone that is not tumbled and rough. Um, you can use anything that you want. And how I do my crystal grid, basically also they come in different shapes, okay? Uh, just want you to see different shapes that they come in. And, uh, this is a selenite um, that was a rose quartz uh, they also come in pyramids all of these different things these shapes and sizes and they also come in a spear um, also have an egg so you have different ones uh, that you can use um, so this was just a healing uh, healing thing from your root chakra all the way to your crown but I added extra things I added um, a stone let you see here from a uh, committed uh, minister for healing then you have my yellow stones then you have my orange stones and then for the heart chakra we have pink and green for the heart and then we have blue for the throat to communication chakra. Then we have for the third eye is an indigo. For the crown, it's a clear quartz. Uh, for the root, I got red uh, jasper. So um, I want you to see that. So that's one of the things that you can do as you're doing a crystal grid. Very simple, very easy, very easy peasy. You can even use an amethyst. I'm going to put that to the side and do that. So I'd like to see um, how this would go. Um, making sure the space is clean. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sage the area. Okay. So this favorite of sage is just either white sage or weed sage or sweet grass, uh, things to bring energy and prosperity and healing and cleansing, all that other sweet stuff, which is really, really good for you and you can do. Um, so as you can see, it takes a while to light up. You know, and I'll just keep doing it and doing it and doing it until it says, keep doing it and doing it and doing it again. Keep doing it. Can you see the smoke and the beautifulness? You know, clean yourself and everything else and your body. It was just wonderful. Don't go anywhere. So. I wanted to do that and clean my space and bring prosperity in. And then I have my copal stone that, you know, I might just put a little piece in here. Just make it so beautiful. Because copal is a shamanic stone that comes from the Mayans that they use energetically I learned that from a friend of mine and uh, basically in uh, Belize her name is Macarona Rose uh, about the copal stone uh, which I am just truly feeling blessed uh, to know her so
First time I ever had that happen. Or the stone, actually, that stuff. So I'm going to let that, look at that, that is just beautiful. So I'm going to clear this area out, I'm showing you how to smudge. Um, you also can use charcoal. And get some residents of frankincense and myrrh and lavender. There's some of the beautiful things that you can do. Um, I'm gonna put all of this. These are just things that are coming out. Hmm. And I'm gonna begin. My beautiful smudging. That's also opening up the way. And I put down there the chakra. And what I also like to use is a mirror. It can be different shapes, if you will. I like this particular shape which is a square, which you can turn into a diamond, if you will. So I'll put it in the middle, and then I'll proceed to put my different stones that I want on there, like a rose quad is beautiful. Where's my other little pyramid? I love pyramids, just love them, love them, love them. So. That's what I'm searching for. Okay. Um, here we go. Another beautiful pyramid. Just love pyramids. Okay. Then I have my spear. Then I have my selenite. You know, just I like to decorate the pyramid with just beautiful stones and my mirror and having just really a lot of reflecting energies on them that surrounds them and keeps them, you know, there. So then I have my Lemurian stone, which is a spirit to, I mean, that is just a thing of beauty. So I guess I gotta make this fast because I'm running out of time. So, and you can just do any pattern that you want. Um, no. Have it anyway. I just put stones around. Just have them. Um, have a snake, citrine that is beautiful. That is, you know, all these beautiful stones. And this is beautiful for protection and human love. Oh, these are just wonderful. Put them in. Did a lot with you know my stones, so I've been blessed and I got my hematite uh, also for that and black onyx and obsidian for protection and I'm just you know just really putting on the things that I really want uh, to open up and manifest. So I'm just not doing it in any particular order. I, like I said, I like a lot of stones, so I like to change up 
and switch it out from time to time. So I know that I'm going to cut off on you guys. So um, I'm actually going to hear me shout, um, which I should not be doing because I asked for a certain person to be down there and helping me. But when you're doing stuff, sometimes it, you know, people walk away and think, oh, that's it. I'm done. Lomax? Yes? Down now? Yes. Yes. I need. Stop my video, please. Yeah. Your ass is, is not stopped. That, that, this one, right? You've got to get on the right thing.